Hello and welcome to Digital Goulash. My name is Chucky and today we're going to take Photoshop elements and give a little ghosting effect to a picture. Now I know Halloween's over, but a lot of you still like to play around with these vampire and ghost and ghoul and zombie tutorials. So I'm going to take the motion blur filter today and give this picture a little bit of a ghosting effect. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to go to edit and revert, revert my photo over here. And if you recognize it, of course, this picture is from the Code Poet, and I want to thank him for the use of this picture with the Creative Commons license in Flickr. Now the first thing of course that we're going to do, a little bit of a lesson, Command J. If you haven't figured that one out, most all these tutorials start with a Command J because it's going to duplicate your layer right over in the layers palette. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to make this black and white because ghosts always seem to be in black and white. So let's go to Enhance and convert this to a black and white. Now we're actually only converting the layer into a black and white and the original picture is still there. Now this is a nice picture but to give it that ghostly effect I'm going to pick vivid landscapes, kind of a little bit more eerie look to it. I'm going to go ahead and say there we go, say OK and there we have it, a black and white. Now what we need to do is we need to go in here and we need to burn a little bit of the edges right there because we don't want as much detail there. The burn tool is this little hand with the circle thing. If it's not there you can click on it. It might have a sponge or a dodge tool so you have to click on those and hold it down and pick the burn tool. Now let's go ahead and pick a nice large brush. You can use the right bracket key to do that. I have mine set on the default midtones and exposure at 50, so I'm just going to take some real quick swipes here on the corners because we want a little less, there we go, a little bit less detail in the corners, almost like a vignette right there. And there we go. Now we have it to where we can just see her face. Now what I need to do is I need to do another Command J because what we're going to do is we're going to blur one of these and then we're going to use some of the details in the bottom one like the eyes and nose. So let's go ahead and go to the filter menu right here. Let's go down to blur and use the motion blur. Now make sure you're on layer one copy and there we go. Now you can play around with this until you get kind of a nice blurring effect. You don't want it to be too messed up. Um, I'm looking at 58 is not enough but maybe 175 is a little bit too much. So let's go ahead and go back to where you can kind of still see that it is a person there and maybe somewhere in the 80s or 90s is a good number and then select OK. Now if you don't have Photoshop Elements 9 or 10, you won't have this, but if you do, this is a layer mask right here. For those of you that don't have it, you can just use the eraser tool and erase some of these areas, but I'm going to use a mask because I like to use masks here. And I'm going to pick the regular paintbrush right here. I've got mine set at 10 as far as the opacity. I've got it set at 60 pixels over here. This is going to vary depending upon your picture. And we're going to paint with the standard black. Now if the black and white aren't there, you just hit D on your keyboard and that will make the default colors go in there. And I'm going to paint right over the eye just a little bit so you can start seeing some details in the eye. Just kind of a ghosty looking eye there. And then we're going to paint kind of around the nose so that you can start getting some details in the nose right there and a little bit on the lips because we want to give this ghost a little bit of a personality right here and there we go and we're starting to get that ghosty look and the eyes look good already a little bit more on the nose right there and as you can see it's bleeding through anywhere that I painted black it's going to bleed through the picture underneath so if I take the visibility off, there is our original picture, and some of that is bleeding over into our ghostly image. Now the next thing we need to do is it's not very bright. Ghosts are usually a little more luminescent there. So what I'm going to do is hold the Command or Control key down on your PC, depending upon if you have a Mac or PC, and I'm going to click on Layer 1. So right now, if you look at this, there are two layers selected right there. I'm going to right-click on that, and I'm going to duplicate those layers and it's going to make two more layers. Mine's called layer 1 copy 2 and layer 1 copy 3. We're going to right click that again and we're going to merge those two layers, just those two layers right there. So you still have the background layer 
layer one which has all your detail, layer one copy which has your ghosting effect, and then the one that we just created over the top of it. Now we're going to use a blending mode right here, changing that from normal down to screen, and that's going to really brighten that up, kind of like that ghosting effect. And there we have it. So the main things that we did here was we started with the background, we duplicated with our famous command J, then we went over into the enhance key over here, we converted it into a black and white, and I used the vivid panorama. After that, I copied it one more time with another control J, then I used my filter, blur, and then I went to the motion blur, and then that's going to vary the numbers depending upon how you like it to look. After I had that, I added a layer mask, and then I painted it with black so that some of the detailed eyes, nose, and mouth came through. After that, I copied these two layers right there by right-clicking, and I merged those layers into a single layer over the top of all my other layers, and I changed that blending mode to screen. And there we have it. There is your ghosting effect. Now some of you have felt sorry for this poor girl because I've done almost everything that I can to this particular picture in all of my tutorials. So if you comment, uh, I'm sure she doesn't mind. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my videos, give me a thumbs up, pass the link on to your friends. Cheers!